everyone. I am here in Kansas City, Missouri, heading out to St. Louis. And um, I have stopped at this uh, thrift store called Frugal Family Thrift Store. Um, on my way to St. Louis this morning, I went ahead and added a bunch of thrift stores. If people are looking at me, whatever. Uh, a bunch of thrift stores that I'm going to stop at on my way to St. Louis to visit my aunt. Um, I'm excited. It is Friday. I took the day off and it is so nice to be off to be able to go do something that I love like thrifting. So I hope that you enjoy my long mega haul video of my rummage sale at the church and thrift stores. And um, I will post this video probably on Monday. Today is Friday. So because I'm spending the, the weekend in St. Louis, I want to have my computer to upload everything. So I hope that you enjoy. I don't know if I will be able to film in there. I'm going to try my best and let's go shopping. Okay, so I spent a couple of dollars at the Frugal Family store. When I was in line, there was about five guys and they're all resellers. Uh, big time. They do this full time. They said they were, they know each other. They know where they go. And I was a little bit <laughs> intimidated, I think. And then I saw them all going for the same rack. So I was like, maybe it's a new rack. And it was all like nothing for me. So I walked around found a few things. Um, did not videotape inside because of the loud music. And the other thing was my first time, but I will link below their Facebook page. So you can kind of go look at the pictures and stuff. But um, I was not even in there more than 10, 15 minutes, maybe waited in line longer than that. So now I'm on my way to the second one. I love that you can travel with me in uh, Kansas City all the way to St. Louis and let's see what's on this road. Okay, behind me is the Goodwill where I found some good score. Over there was the Red Rack and I thought I was in a, um, a very expensive store. The prices in there were ridiculous, but um, wait when you find what I score at Goodwill. I did videotape, so I will put the video and then you can see what I did find there. It was amazing, my face is all, these masks, whoo, but it's important. So now I continue on. <laughs>
in my last video, last week I decided to drive to St. Louis, Missouri to visit my aunt, but I also had plans that on the way there, I would stop at different thrift shops or consignment stores, and um, time took away from me really because it was, you know, whenever you go to a store like that or different store, you gotta find it, it's a little bit out of the way to um, the main highway, but I did stop at a few stores, and I want to share some of those with you right now. Um, one of the thrift store, um, you'll see on the video I talk about it, it was the Red Rack, and I was really surprised at how expensive it was there. I was a little disappointed at the prices, but let's just get started. I am actually going to get started with... Um, one that was not on my trip, actually, um, I picked, so I'm going to go to the, if I can find it, right here. So a couple of weeks ago, I had gone to my uh, Salvation Army here in Leavenworth, Kansas. I got all my receipts. I'm going to make sure that I'm on track here. And um, I just saw the prices on these. Anyways, so... Um, at the Salvation Army, they like to decorate, um, you know, the upper shelf and all that. And I had seen these cute washboards. This one was $2.99. And this one was $4.99. It says National Wa Washboard Company. I thought it was kind of cute for $4.99. And the last one that I picked up, which I, I had to go today, uh, standard family size brass number Columbus uh, washboard, and it's a made right. So these three washboards, the big ones were $4.99, and the small one was $2.99. And then I also purchased, which was today, because I had to go pick up. What happened is they put the items out, and then after a while, they let you take them home. So um, she did call me and told me to come and get them, so I did. Um, I picked up this book. It says The Complete Tales and Poem of Winnie the Pooh. And I think this was my receipt. Yes. Here it is. Yeah, the two big ones, $4.99, small one, $2.99. She didn't even charge me for it. Yeah, 49 cents for each book. And this one says, Book Our Fine Children's Treasures. And I really love the illustration in this one. Let me turn this page. Um, the illust illustrations in these are very sweet. And for 49 cents, I thought they were really cool books. So that was actually a two-day purchase because I had already put the washboard on hold there. So hopefully I can remember everywhere I went. Um, I think I have that more than four things, but let me see. I might have the receipts inside the bag. Okay, this was in Blue Springs, Missouri. I stopped, um, it was just a little trip. Oh, it was Goodwill. Saying I bought four things and I only see three. Hmm. Okay, so I did buy this. I have something missing. Let me see a second. Hold on. Is that part of that? No, because it was in that bag. Uh, that's not it. Oh, this is, yes. So it was at the Goodwill, and I hit something pretty cool there. The first thing was this long, uh, the Long Ranger little golden book. I thought, you know, that was cool. I pile all this stuff here. Then I did get this little mail holder. I just think these are pretty cool. This was $2.49, and it does have a felt underneath it. Um, I don't remember what tag it was that day. Maybe it was, let's see. No, it was not on sale. This was $2.49. And I just love these little boxes. This one says, it's, it's kind of like etched inside, but I think I can actually put another little sign here and paint this up. It was $1.99. So kind of a cute little box to put little things in. And 
so I was walking around and around in a circle and then I spotted these on top but the lady was standing there looking at them she did not purchase them but they are vintage doll house uh, doll furniture this is a little high chair I actually looked this up in a this one with a little doll and I don't know if it was the doll that came with it I got to do more research um it was $30 on eBay so for $249 and if it sells for that much um jackpot good uh, comeback on price and then they had this cute little elephant rocker and that also uh, was $249 and it was selling on eBay for a lot like $30 as well so two great items found at a thrift store um, I think that's pretty good price for that I'm gonna save my receipt for that one the first place that I went to the first place of all was called the um, let's see if I have my receipt here I did before where did I put it that makes me mad oh here it is the frugal family thrift store um it's uh, the mysteries of his name mysteries I believe this was as well in Blue Spring Missouri and this was on Friday uh, I did pick up this uh, cute it looks vintage to me paper towel older it actually have wooden screws at the bottom which was kind of neat and then you just un oh you just pull that up I thought you had to unscrew it you just pull that up and your stick comes out for your paper towel that is pretty cool and this was a dollar ninety nine and then what else did I buy there was that yes this was all there then I got this box of vintage um, tread bob bobbles, whatever bobbins you want to call them. And the whole case was $1.49, but I did spot some wooden ones in there and a couple of smaller ones in the back. So for $1.49, not a bad deal at all. And then for $0.29 cents a piece, she sold me uh, some separate ones. Um, some wooden bob um, tread. What are you? Bobbins. No, they're tread. Whatever it is. <laughs> so I got three more. I am totally faint right now. Okay. And so, and then a whole dollar. Twenty. What is it? Dollar ninety-nine. What else was a dollar? Dollar ninety-nine. And then I picked up these cute little uh, shoes. They're super cute. I can't take them out, they're all taped up. But they were super cute. So I went ahead and picked that up. I didn't think that was a bad deal for this shop right here. I'm trying to think if there was something else for $1.99. $1.99, $1.59, $1.60. And the three spools. If I remember what else I bought there for $1.99, I will have to show you. Okay, so I'm really having a great time shopping and looking around. And um, I've never been to one of these stores. It was called... Not that one. Truman Heritage Habitat. It is a Habitat a resale store. And they had a lot of uh, hardware. It was more like a little hardware, but I did find some home goods there. And I've only bought one thing, this gorgeous, um, this is metal, and then wood wine rack for $5. I just need to clean it up, polish it up, and I think this would be a great resale item. So that was the only thing I saw there. There were bigger items like old doors, which I would have loved to bring, but I had my little car and I was already, you know, thinking I don't want to scratch my stuff. I don't want to make a mess in my car. So I just bought that there. Um, would I return? I don't know. Um, I don't know. I would have to see if I really would need like one of those big doors or whatever. So 
to continue on what was my the other part. Trying to find out what else. Okay, so um, the other store that I went to, and I hope I have the bag with the name on it. This store was actually in O'Fallon, Missouri. It's called Elderberry Place. If I would have just had more time there, I didn't, and so it is what it is. So I am not quite sure, but what I did buy there was a bunch of wooden uh, tread bobbins and I'm gonna make sure that I got all these in. Okay, everything is falling down. It's saying plate for $1.99. Oh wait, where's my little brown bag I had? Sorry you guys, I thought I was organized. Oh, here is the brown bag. So if you ever have a chance to go to Old Fallon and go to other berry, whatever, go. Because it's a really cool store. So they, that's not where I bought that though. I can't, I'm sorry guys. I cannot think of it. What did I buy for $1.25? Or was that that store? I don't know. But anyways, I'm just going to go through the things. Um, this was a bunch of bobbins. There's a lot of wooden ones. This was a uh, $1.99. And another bag here for a dollar ninety nine, and another bunch of wooden bobbins for two ninety nine, and um, I just thought that this was kind of neat with that nice bow, and it's a bunch of vintage buttons that little heart one is just absolutely gorgeous and the whole jar was $4.95 so I went ahead and picked that up I thought that was kind of neat to purchase that so I am not quite sure if that was it or if that went with it I cannot remember and I don't have a price I don't have a ticket for them I could have sworn that was the ticket but that's okay moving on definitely moving on at this point um I'm gonna move this bag over here oh, what was that? oh okay this ticket is for something else it's called I will have to get the name for you. That's why I that ticket. I knew it was familiar ticket. Um, necessit, necessity, I'll have to put it down. Necessities, a little store um, that I stopped at and I do not have a, a ticket, but I will try to get the name below so you guys can see. And I did buy quite a bit of stuff there. And it was total of $13.58, what I'm gonna show you right now. This I thought it was kind of neat, and I love how they wrap everything up so good. It was $1.25. It is one of those porcelain light holders, and they use one of these little votive cups, and they just added a nice little discolored ribbon and a little bit of whatever that is, and it was $1.25. I just thought that was neat. Um, I wish I, I could find more of these porcelain, porcelain uh, light holders and do something like that. What a great idea, right? Okay, I want to put that in there. So that was $1.25. Um, this store was absolutely amazing, so I definitely have to link that below for you guys to see where I went to. This one was $2.25. It's one of those uh, vintage juicers. I love these things. Um, I actually have a little collection going on of these. Um, whenever I see one, if it's at the right price, I purchase it. Okay. And super nice staff as well. They were so sweet. Here's the name. Necessities Thrift Store. 
in Blue Spring, Missouri. So I did a lot of shopping in Blue Spring, Missouri. Um, and it was just a dollar and it's this cute a little container, little pot. I thought it would make a great candle holder. So I will link all of that information. I'm going to take the card out. I'm going to link the information for you below because if you go through, it's, um, they're going to be closed. Just look at the website. They're going to be closed for a little bit, but they'll reopen again. Then I purchased this cute little metal plate. It was an old lid to one of those cup, those the containers. What they did is they went ahead and punched a hole at the back, and it was a dollar twenty-five, and they painted a sweet strawberry. I just think it's cute just to have hanging on the wall. And of course, I cannot leave wooden spoodles. Spoodle, I tried spoodles. Got it. Um, and this was a dollar twenty-five. Then they had this cute little wooden box with a primitive village, a country village. And when you open it, it's a cute little container. Um, I just thought that was sweet, cute, could not leave that behind. And then they had this little berry garland. Whoops. And this one was three dollars. These are like ten dollars at the store. So I went ahead and grabbed it. Why not? And the next item, um, again, it has um, wild berries. What is this? Raspber raspberries. And it says made in Italy in the back. And it was $2. It's, it's a wooden tray. I would just leave it just like that because I think it's really pretty. And that was two dollars so that was that necessities store in blue spring missouri and i'm not quite sure where i got these spoodles at but i'm going to put this up here and i will put all of their information for all of the stores that i've been to if i can the next was on the way back and I'm not seeing the stuff here that I got. What did I buy there? That's where I got those poodles. Okay. All right. So it was an antique store in Columbia, Missouri. This was Sunday on my way back. However, um, I spent $27 there, but it's because I purchased um, bees, uh, honeycomb from the beehives for my son and some strawberry jam for my husband. And then that's where these poodles, they were just wooden spoodles. Um, I bought five of them. And they're just like, just a regular wooden spoodles. I mean, I am obsessed with these. Um, and for, they were like a quarter a piece because the whole thing, the whole bag was $2.30 for a whole bag of spoodles. And for every purchase on Sunday, I just thought this would be perfect for my uh, sewing room. It's a little photo frame. And this was free with any purchase. So I love getting free stuff. I'm sure y'all do too. And the one bargain that I thought that I purchased there. Let me get this. And I will go ahead and put the information for the Out of Choke uh, Annie's Antique Mall information in the description. The next item they had there were the stackable boxes and their sewing boxes. I don't know what that is. So you, you don't just have one, but there are three of them. So that's the second one. And there's a little tray in them like this. There's two, and there are, I think only three. Okay. I can't open it, but yeah, there are three of them. They're uh, vineyards, and this is the tray that's at the top, and it has four compartments. And they're just stackable boxes, and I just thought for 50 cents a piece, I can't, I can't beat that. So I went ahead and purchased six of these. I thought these would make uh, some great gifts or for resale the next thing that i did on sunday was um, right next door 
and I'm hoping that that will be. Sorry for the bad noises. I'm gonna drop everything back though. You can say it was a scoodle weekend um, because I bought a lot of those. Um, at the this one is called Soul Sentiment, and it's right next door to the um, Artichoke Annie's. Uh, antique mall I spent eight dollars and thirteen cents and it is a little craft store but she has like an um I don't know if it's consignment or if they're just selling different things but um they had like little bags in the back they have a little um oh what do you call that I can't think of it but so you don't poke your finger <laughs> totally went blank and then they had some other more tread scoodles and these have another timble there's there was a timble in it so i, I kind of wanted it for my little stack and then this one here is a bunch of buttons so i'll put this in here and then this here i couldn't why did i buy this oh uh, there was another timble in it and there was this little um amazing scissors scissor sharpener it said i was just amazed by that and then a little um a little pin cushion that you can put on your arm and then again a bunch of spoodles and they had some cute paper and i thought how cute would this be to make a set of cards 12 cards so this would give me 12 cards and then the other one would give me another 12. After I got home, I was like, you dodo head, you should have bought more. But that's okay, because I might just do um, two sets of 12 cards. But that's okay. Sometimes you just don't think too good. And my last, uh, for this week's trip shopping from Kansas City to St. Louis, Missouri, um, I went to Goodwill right here in Leavenworth, Kansas. Um... And I spent $11. What did I buy there? Let me show you. I'm trying to find it for you here. Um, I bought this cute little box, another wooden box. It looks like the name is all erased here, but a little sanding and a little painting. I think this would make a cute little box. Super cute for $1.99. And then I bought this little napkin holder, again, $1.99, and it said Jody on it. I guess Jody painted the flowers, and that was also $1.99. And then I got this cute little um, tray. It was a green tag today, so it was half price. I hope she charged me half price. She even charged me two at five ninety eight. Okay. Trying to see. I'm sorry, guys. Two at dollar forty nine. Anyways, it was half price. I thought that would make a cute little a farmhouse tray. And then the next item I bought there. What? I did miss one from the other store. I did buy that as well. Okay. And then this cute little hanger here. Why did she only charge me $2.99 for these things? I don't know. But anyways, I thought that was a cool little coat rack with all of the faucet looking thing. It does need a little bit of sanding and repainting, I think. I'm not too liking um, the paint job on this one, but we'll see what we can do with it. Um, when I'm all done let me see here and look around make sure I, I showed you everything yes this will conclude this Trish shop from Kansas City to um, St. Louis and I hope that you love this week Trish shopping I do have some videos of me going to the store but not too many of them um, you know, time was a constraint. It is a three and a half hour drive and I, the stores, some of the stores did not open till 10. So you figure 10, 11, 12, one o'clock and I still have to drive to my aunt and I didn't want to get there too late because I did want to spend some time with her. I had a wonderful time. It is always 
nice to go visit those aunts and uncles. Um, and so this is the last item that I had. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and come see me again next week. I am coming up with a Trash to Treasure video and some big news. So please continue watching for that. Have a great day and see y'all next time.